Freaks, my name's Stephanie and you are watching New Light Reptiles. This is one of my Bearded Dragons, Clementine, and today we are going to talk about how to handle and or tame your bearded dragon. Of course, there can be two different approaches to this. Um, usually when people are getting a bearded dragon, they're either obtaining a baby or juvenile, or like I did with Clementine, I rescued an adult. However, both of these scenarios can utilize the same techniques as far as handling and taming your new bearded dragon. I also have another bearded dragon who is about a year and a half old who I obtained as a baby as well. So I have had experience on both ends of the spectrum. One thing to really keep in mind with babies is that uh, they tend to be a lot more timid, a lot more flighty, a lot more skittish, um, and they are really, really fast as well. Where starting off with an older bearded dragon, um, you're going to have something that's maybe a little bit easier to manage. Um, usually they're not quite as timid and flighty and all over the place. Um, however, there are always different personalities for every bearded dragon out there. And with rescue, you also pose the risk of them coming from a neglectful situation and maybe they never even had any human interaction. All right, Clementine decided to leave. So now we have Lyle. Um, so today we're just gonna start off with what do you do at the very beginning when you first bring your new bearded dragon home? When you first bring them home, they are going to need an adjustment period. So leaving them alone to settle in their new enclosure for at least a week is mandatory. During this time, you're really only going to want to enter the enclosure to um, do water changes and to feed, but other than that, you want to let your bearded dragon adjust to their new surroundings. Everything for them during this time period is going to be brand new. Um, so they need time to get used to that and understand that they are in a space that is not a threat to them. After that first week, you can start by doing small steps such as just hanging out around the enclosure so your reptile gets used to your presence and your energy. Um, you can also start just putting your hand in the enclosure. Um, Try and do this gently, softly, so that you don't come across as a threat. Um, but this will allow your bearded dragon to also get used to your scent and realize that you are not out to harm them. During this period, you can also start bribing them with food. Um, food usually is the best way to bond with your reptile. You can attempt to bring them their favorite treats and hand feed them to them, whether it's something like their favorite vegetable or perhaps a hornworm, um, something that is going to entice them to interact with you and show that you are associated with a positive thing. Also, please note that you should let your bearded dragon come to you. Don't force it upon them. Let them come to your hand. Um, if they're still not wanting to take the food from you right away, that's okay, just keep trying. With babies, they usually always will come around eventually. Um, however, with a rescue, this may take a really, really long time and there's always the chance that they may never come around and you have to be willing to accept that. Okay, now once we've made some progress and we have begun hand feeding, your beardy is approaching your hand without being fearful, we can start with small increments of handling. With Lyle, when I had him as a baby bearded dragon, um, this was a somewhat stressful situation just because he was so small and he was also very flighty. So we began with the handling inside of his enclosure. So I would just handle him with my hands inside the enclosure, if that makes sense. Um, and then once I began to be a little bit more comfortable with him and know his movements, then we started small handling outside of the enclosure. I also advise in the beginning to just keep these sessions short and sweet. Um, you don't wanna overstress your beardy and 
have them begin to not trust you all over again. Um, so just keep it, you know, around the five minute range, put them back in their enclosure, give them a little treat, call it good. It's also important to just know when it's time to call it quits. As you could see, Lyle was done with being handling, so I had to put him down. Um, please, please always keep in mind your bearded dragon's well-being and don't overhandle. I think my greatest piece of advice as well is that this simply takes time. Um, I can't give you any set time because every bearded dragon is completely different. Lyle, as a baby, I would say it took him up to about the six or seven month mark before he started chilling out a little bit and being more tame and being able to just rest on my shoulder. Um, and Clementine, my rescue bearded dragon, who I brought home as an adult, she was very, very timid at first. She would bite me. She um, showed a little bit of aggression here and there, um, but with some hand feeding and wooing her over with treats, um, I would say she came around within about a month. Um, but this can vary, as I mentioned before. Every bearded dragon is different. They all have different personalities, so just be prepared to put in the effort and time. That's all I have for you today. I know this is a short video, but if you did learn something or you enjoyed the content today, please like and subscribe. I'm new here. I'm a new kid on the block, so it definitely helps and I would love to continue providing information and education to you guys and sharing my love of reptiles. Bye guys.